We are in Japan and Up Garage is right behind me. You already know that was the first stop I had to go to. Tried to go to one, but it was 10 minutes before closing. I didn't really get to know uh, what was inside. I've had multiple attempts at this again, but each time has never worked out. I already know it's gonna rain soon. We gotta kick it into gear. Today we are in Amagasaki. It is the city that I'm living in right now. Hopefully this is a actual up garage because I know they have some motorcycle ones and stuff like that. But this seems to be the place. So this is my actual first time kind of getting a look at Up Garage without being in a rush and take a look at the wheels last. Oh, oh. Look at that, if only I had one of those. Aren't that fun? This looks to be like the audio section. All the LEDs and fasteners you would need. Uh, looks like I gotta take a close look to see if they have like an S13 height lights. Okay, this is a good subject. These seats are very desirable. And they're in great condition. Oh my God. Probably around like $400, I think. That's just a guesstimate. Let's see if they have any Nardis. Oh my God, they do. That's a little too big though. 365. 330's just like the sweet spot. That's kind of cool. A little bit smaller than the steering wheel. I don't know what brand that is though. Oh wait, holy shit. Are these new? There's no 330s, but if these are new, that's pretty cool. This next style is exhaust and suspension. I am sure I'll find some S13 stuff here. Unfortunately, I don't think I could fit any of this in my luggage on the way back. Um, so realistically, I would either have to figure a shipping solution out or something else to be small. Oh, these are for S13s, I believe. Let's go ahead and do this for fun. I'm gonna pick out three things that I would get if I had no limitations like shipping and buying things actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna go take a quick detailed look and then get back to you. I found the sticker section. These actually are pretty cool. Well, I would end up getting that or something. Yokohama. I haven't seen anything. In the past two aisles. Oh, I found one. XC7s, but it's a weak spec. If it was more aggressive spec, I would get that. These are a pretty sick pickup. I do like regular RGs better than the deeper dish stuff. I found more seats hiding out. This one actually kind of stood out to me. It looks like it's unbranded, um, but it feels pretty quality. All right, we had to go back to these. Let's get the specifics of those. 215.40 on an 18. 
They are 10.5 squared. Oh. That, my friends, is our first pickup. That would be my first pick, honestly. With most of my setups on the cars, I try my best to do a squared setup just to have a consistent wheel all around. I, I am not a fan of like too much of a staggered setup, but that's my first pick. I think I found my second pick right here. This blank black bucket seat, realistically, would be pretty sick. Although the the Recaro would be cool, I feel like it is um, very popular. And not too far from the seats are the steering wheels. That's the third pick. They don't have the one that I would want, but I know one of the up garages do. If you didn't know, this is probably like 20 minutes from Osaka. It's not like the most known area. I was hoping for more gold, but they had some silver. <laughs> I'm most definitely sure they have way more goodies in the back and that are just sold. But good tire selection, Yokohama. All right, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and exit. I should most definitely hit the train station and try to get home before it rains. That was a good stop. I hope to actually find something maybe that I could take home at an up garage. I'll be sure to bring you guys along. It has been tremendously hot lately so it's nice that there's a coverage of cloud. Um, obviously that comes with rain soon. I think for the next three days it's gonna be super rainy. Unfortunately we didn't end up seeing a cool car today. I was hoping to see one either at Up Garage or on the way back. One of these videos we will. Oh, actually this one's kind of cool. It's on Avan Wheels Evo. Huh. Not too shabby. It ain't an S chassis though. <laughs> I was also curious to know if you would want to see more Japan content. I kept it related with Up Garage because automotive, you know? Please let me know if you want to see more overall Japan content and I'll do that. Google Maps has been definitely my best friend in helping me get around um, efficiently so I might have to take the bus to the train station. Headed this way to the bus stop should arrive in about five minutes and lo and behold we are in front of a 7-eleven. I don't need anything at the moment Super awesome K truck right there. Look at that. I never see them in orange. We have arrived. Here is our destination. We need to make one um, transfer to the train from the bus. I thought I'd make use of being in this location. Uh, um, it looks to be a pretty cool place. And you could hear the cicadas. That is an iconic sound ever since I came to Japan in July. I've been hearing them all the time. I don't know entirely where I am at. I know the general area. Wow. Cool sign. I'm really on the hunt for a 7-Eleven smoothie. 7-Eleven's right there, but each one I've went to already, never had it. Let's hope they have a smoothie. was today a Ada 7-Eleven funny enough. I had what did I have? Oh, it was this. I had some cold ramen. Um yeah. Cold ramen because it was a hot day. It was some cucumbers. So All 
right, that concludes this video. What did you guys think of it? Did you guys agree with my picks? Or comment down below what you would get. Thanks for watching.